I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This is a miserable job. I have to mount this light up in that opening. Now, I already have most of the work done. I just have to connect the wires because I put this light up before I, I had to paint the vault. But to get the thing up into the vault, I have to have this piece of plywood over the top of the sink, use the shop box to sit on, and then try and fit that whole thing up into the hole. Had a little project this weekend. I was trying to fix a doorknob. This door, you can see that the knob is settled down quite a bit, doesn't line up with the latch plate. So I have to move the latch plate. I'm going to bring it down about a quarter of an inch and hopefully that'll take care of the problem. During my last trip down to the estate sale, I saw this uh, stack of saw blades and I thought, hmm, I have a smaller table saw and these are smaller table saw blades. The little ones are seven and a quarters. That's an eight. That fits my table saw. That's a nine. I don't think it'll fit the table saw. The ones down at the bottom, those are tens. That'll fit Ryan's Craftsman. This is a carbide. So we're going to see just exactly whether I can sharpen those things up and make them work. Pretty much a foregone conclusion. We've done it before. But that was a find there at the estate sale. It's the only thing I got. Two bucks. thought, well, what the heck. I'll get a blade out of it anyways. So I'll sharpen up these and put them on the skill saws. And this one is for the little Sears table saw. And maybe these will fit the Sears table saw. Who knows? They're 9 inch blades. They might fit. Then uh, these tens will definitely fit Ryan's saw. So, pretty good bargain. Just a little bit of work with a file and the diamond stone, and we're all good to go. At some time in the past, these saw blades ended up at Denny's Saw Crib. Got some work to do with a toothbrush, and then I'll start putting the carburetor in this thing. I got uh, most of the gunk out of it. I still have to put some kerosene in the bar oil. Still have to put some kerosene in the bar oil container and get that flushed out. But the pump's working. The bar oil pump is working quite well. I don't have my old clothes on so I'm not going to spray this down with carburetor cleaner. I'm just loosening up the junk. Did a test fit on the carb. Carb fits just perfect. So there are no impediments to going forward with the job. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.